What's up guys, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. So in the last episode, I climbed Mount Kernel all the way to the very top of the mountain. Uh, and uh, we met with Malari, the guy who's actually going to fix the Picori Blade. So while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start on the Cave of Flames, which is the second dungeon in this game, and uh, beat this. So uh, in this room right here, you will find enemies called uh, bob -ombs. Now these, you hit them twice. Uh, the first time you hit them, it'll, it'll make them go off. The second time, they will... Uh, stop and just stand there till they explode so yeah unfortunately I couldn't get one to actually stand near the door so I'm gonna have to use one of my own bombs alright so in this next room you will find enemies called the uh, Helmsaurus I believe the name is that so obviously you, you can't kill them with your sword you have to flip them over so you're gonna have to do a little bomb throwing so be generous with your bombs don't try to okay okay that's one alright and the second one shouldn't be that hard to get no no okay idiot ah come on really stop running around like that I hate you guys so much okay ah come on stupid link grab the freaking bomb stupid idiot oh my god seriously link toss the bomb yes toss it all right, there we go. I don't know why he wasn't tossing the bomb, but okay, it took nine bombs to do that. Pretty stupid if you ask me, but oh well. I mean, Link's an idiot sometimes. Well, I'm not gonna blame the game on Link's. Actually, me, my fault for some reason, but oh well. All right, in this room you will find like likes or one like like. Go ahead and kill that before he absorbs you, because in this one they just like to suck on you for some reason. <laughs> They don't let you go, they're kind of like only to the past, or uh, for the sword adventure where they just sit and just uh, just absorb you, they keep on absorbing you. Alright, so in here there are more bob bombs. Um, yeah, like you freeze right there, second one as well, and let's continue all the way up here. Now there are tracks, because this is where the humans used to mine according to uh, Malari and his gang. So this is how they used to mine, because it's actually a big dungeon. Well, actually, it's supposed to, we are the size of humans, so we're not minish. This isn't like a minish dungeon or anything like that. So go ahead and jump into this minecart, kill those two keys, and yeah. All right, they actually dropped rupees. Good thing that minecart killed them. All right, in here you'll find red choo choos, which I dislike. I hate these red choo choos. They're like the worst. Choo choos are the worst enemies in this game because they hide underground and stuff. So you can't really just kill them all at the same time. You have to like freaking wait for them to come from underneath the ground. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use a bomb on this little cape thingy right here. And inside, you'll get these red things with these with the hammer masks. Now these guys are evil. I hate them. You're supposed to kill them all. Good thing I actually got all three of them in one. So let's get this very last guy and toss that. And then what will appear a minish portal. How how interesting. So there was a portal hidden away in here. Hmm, whatever you want me whatever you want me want me to shrink you down. Just hop and press R. Alright. I'm pretty sure that's what we always do as well. You don't have to explain it to me twice. Or once. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, in this room you will find more uh Helmosaurus. Watch out for them. Just go ahead and enter into the next room. And keep going through these rat hole thingies. <laughs> And there's a heart piece. That's the only heart piece in this dungeon, so we will get that uh, later on in this video, whenever we get the chance to. All right. So in this room is actually all smoked up and foggy because of the the lava in this room. So watch out. Do not fall in the lava. And right here, you can stand on this minish portal, come big, and you will find more little red choo choos. All right. More choo choos. Get that. Alright, you can go ahead and use your sword to pretty much uh, remove all the lava from the ground and then get the chest. Inside the chest will be the dungeon map. So now we got both the dungeon map and the compass. So that means we just need the final item in the game or in this dungeon. Did I say the game? No, I said I meant dungeon. Um, and that is the cane of Pachi, which is a new item. You guys will see what it does. In this chest, you can get a kinstone piece. Step on this. Oh my, it looks really hot. It looks really, really hot in that lava. Trust me, falling into that would not be, would be a bad idea. I'm sure you agree. Okay, and go right there. I'm gonna use my gust jar to actually move these bottles. So, 
they do not interfere when I try to uh, run across. Oh crap. Okay. Well, this is not like Wind Waker where it starts you out at the beginning of the room if you fall in the lava. Okay. Now let's enter into this room. Absorb, absorb, absorb. Push. Alright. Now, there are these weird, uh, roly poly looking thingies. You're gonna need to take all of them and put them in the holes that are here. Aw, oh, come on, stupid link. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm kind of having trouble with my PS3 controller. Oh no, I just pushed one down there. But I guess one of those holes are pretty useless to actually, uh, toss Link, or toss one in. Like, there really is no point to put one right there. <laughs> So yeah, they give you an extra one. Alright, so now what we're going to do is going to jump into this little whirlwind thingy right here. Fly all the way across. All the way down, actually. That way, and then go the opposite way. So by the time you make it, Link will by then start descending. So, Or you can just cancel once you make it there. Push that rock. Step on this switch. And then push this treasure chest all the way to that hole. Because in this chest is something important that we do need, so. Inside we got a small key just to unlock, and yes, we know what we do with small keys. Alright, so it looks like there is no lava in here, or everything's clear again because there is no smoke or lava. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alright, because we're like in a volcano, I believe. We're like at the very top of a mountain in a volcano, and enter in here before that guy comes charging right at me. That would not be pleasant. But we're going to go ahead and switch the angle of the track. We're going to switch different sides. We can kill these from behind. That's weird. I didn't even know that. That's cool. Alright, so in here, there's the heart piece. We passed it again. But no worries. We are bound to get it. Actually, we're going to we're gonna get it right now, actually. I just remembered. So watch out for that. Obviously, we can't flip that car over until we get the cane of Pachi, which is an item that makes you flip other items over, other objects. So, um, there, one, trying to kill these guys, two, not that bad, okay, now use this bomb to explode. Now this cave leads to the heart piece, and it looks like all the key seeds are, uh, are dead because of the minecart that we, uh, because we ran into them, and no, I don't want to plant a bomb, I'm not going to leave my trail of bombs being planted. Alright, so here is the mini boss room. You're actually going to fight a bunch of uh, metal choo-choos. So yeah, these are the worst kind of choo-choos to kill because they become metal like almost every time you hit them. It's like every second they become metal so you really can't do anything about it. Uh, you could place bombs and you can kill them that way or you could use your boomerang and just try to paralyze one by one or you could just slash around like an idiot kind of like what I'm doing just till you get them all dead. Which shouldn't take much time, really. And then a chest will appear, and inside that chest is the cane of Pachi. This mystical rod has the power to flip things over. Use it Use it to charge up energy holes and flip anything you want around thingy-majig. Okay, so I'm going to use that right now. Cane of Pachi. Flip you around, and it works. Okay, sweet. Hey, kid, why don't you take that cane of Pachi and fire it? Fire at that hole. I mean, you never know what will happen if you try it, until you try it, right? Okay. And voila. It's kind of like a extra oomph jump thingy. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're going to use this. Flip that car over. Run all the way across. And then pull this. Because we need to pull that, obviously. And look at Link's blood pressure rising. <laughs> I guess it's too much for him to handle. And inside we got a small key to use to unlock doors, obviously. So now we can go ahead and uh, jump in this again. Enter into that room. Now that blue portal leads back to the very beginning of the dungeon. It's pretty obvious. We saw that in Deepwood Shrine, so... That's what you're supposed to do if you need hearts. But, I don't know. I, I, I think I'll manage to beat the rest of the dungeon without needing any hearts. Well, I'm going to get hearts on the way, so no worries. Alright, now enter in here. And there's a cart that we need to flip over, but obviously we can't do that right now because we are small Link and we need uh, to become big Link to be able to use the Kinapachi 
because you can't use you can use your sword, but you can't use the can of Pachi. All right, now stand on this, and now watch out for these guys. You're gonna need a camp like right here, so that little guy could pass. Same thing with this guy right here. All right, jump and let it go. Flip the track and go. All right, now we're gonna take these Mr. Roly Polies and do the same thing we did before in the other room. Grab you Roly Polies. Come one, come one all. All of you guys are coming. Look at that guy. He's trying to escape from his roly poly stage. You're gonna be locked in a ball forever, young man. Well, he's not a man, he's just like this little creature like thingy. That'd be scary to see something like that in real life. Like a little huge roly poly. It's kinda like an armadillo. Maybe. Alright, oh we have to hit the switch. <laughs> Silly me. Alright, now in this area you will find... Okay, so here's a chest. Inside the chest you can get a kinstone piece. Push this rock right here. Use the cane of Pachi. Up here you'll find another kinstone piece. So there, you can actually get two. Alright, and uh, you can get a rupee if you kill that key seas thingy majiga. Alright, now back here what you're gonna want to do is actually flip that around so we're gonna wait for that to come back so we can go all the way on that side actually no 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 no, no. I'm doing it wrong so we're gonna wait right here actually now wait till that thing comes our way alright now go flip that flip that go 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 now this one actually takes a while before it uh, breaks but it's just about time like it gives you just enough time to make it across so you have to be quick um i wouldn't say go on them like see right now don't go on it until it starts moving because that one literally goes away in like seconds all right so we're gonna flip you over stand on you flip that one over stand on you wait till get on that one flip you over oh shit no Okay, I mean, at least they're all flipped over, so... Oh, come on, seriously? Looks like the other ones have exploded, too, so... I'm gonna have to go. Thought I could make it, like, double pass, but unfortunately I didn't. Clever. They are clever. They do not want you to double pass, otherwise they'd make it easy, but oh well. Okay. Now we're going to jump here. The only reason we're going this side is because we need a kinstone piece. We don't need it, but like I said, it's better to collect all of the kinstone pieces you can because there's going to be a lot of people in Hyrule that you could fuse kinstones with and that you need to fuse with. So it's better to have more. And uh, yeah, so you, could col so you can pretty much collect and unlock everything and uh, see what all the kinstone pieces lead to. All right, now go ahead and jump into this whirlwind right here. All the way at the very end will be another chest, I believe. You know, there's nothing there. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna use uh, hop on that whirlwind, jump up there, and yeah, it's pretty obvious what you do from here. No need to explain, just because I'm pretty much stating all of the obvious. And Link's gonna use his parachute as Ezlo. And you make it here. So this is pretty much the last room in this area. Once we beat this, we will be done. We will actually have to fight the boss of the dungeon. And he is fairly easy if you ask me. Alright, go back here. Fly, 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 fly. Okay, so you can go in that world when you get a kinstone piece, but... Yeah, I know I just said try to collect them all, but I'm kind of lazy to go there because this is my second time recording this exact same dungeon because I noticed that I wasn't recording with my blue snowball, I was recording with my integrated microphone and that does sound really bad, so it would not be worth it, but I don't know what this leads to. Let's take a look. It leads back to the beginning, so that's like the halfway mark and this is the end. Okay, so that's pretty convenient, I guess. Okay, I'm going to just move that guy and now let's just wait there's the boss room voila 
go on this and enter. Now, do we have, yes, we still have a fairy, but in one of this bottle right here, they give you a fairy, so. Yeah, now this area reminds me of kind of, of uh, what's it, what's the, the, the place called, what's it called? I think it's called, uh, Dugong's Cavern, yes it is. Um, it reminds me of Dugong's Cavern a lot, just because you have to fall down to f fight the boss. You have to fall down like this little pit, and then it, at the very bottom will be the boss. But the boss is a little bit different. Um, it's kind of the same concept though. You're surrounded by a little, uh, little land, and then there's like a lava pit in the middle. But this guy is named uh, Glee Rock, I believe. Yeah, it's Glee Rock. Uh, basically, what you have to do is use the cane of Pachi to flip the rock over. That's on his back, and then once you do that, it'll flip, and then a part on his back will actually uh, be revealed. So you're gonna have to go ahead and hit that. But I do like these cool little dragon uh, sculptures on the on the freaking walls. They kind of look like blue eyes, white dragon. I think that's really awesome. I noticed that like as soon as I enter the temple or the boss. All right, go this way. Now he's kind of tricky. Oh god. All right, thank you. Um, yes, I do not want to get burnt by fire, fireballs anymore. If he does manage to blow fire at you, you Link will run around like a pansy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, be sure to watch out for that. If you do need hearts, some of the fire, um, if you uh, put it out, will have hearts or rupees or whatever, like that one right there. Um, and watch out for the falling rocks, because if you get hit by a rock, that is not good. You'll lose some health, not too much though. Alright. We're gonna come this way. Alright. We're gonna go that way. He's actually fairly easy. He is not hard whatsoever. Alright. Let's go back. And wait. I think you have to do this process about five times before he is finally fully dead, I guess. So, um, you can't really hit him with the cane of Pachi when his back is still glowing, so, uh, you can hit him like that. I don't, I don't think this is the last time, but let's see. Yep, it isn't. They barely, we barely got any hits though. I guess that's how they make it, so it could be like a full out five turns, maybe. Okay. Pick up these hearts, we are now at full health. Okay. Now he's acting like a pansy right now. I think I'm gonna go that way. There. Wow, way to make it really far away. Yes, I think. Oh god, really? Okay, so they make it six times, I guess. Not sure why, but they do that. They make it six times. You have to go through this. Um. Yeah, he's not hard at all. He's actually really easy. He's kind of like the boss uh, of Deep Witch Shrine. You just gotta watch out for the lava on the ground. So try to hit him like in a clear open spot. That way you can easily go. Yeah, we just needed that last hit. Oh my gosh, I should have like spammed the button of the X. My X button so we can uh, kill him. But uh, that is, you know, I'm not gonna complain. It's actually really easy. Fairly easy boss, and we obtained the fire element. You got the fire element. Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all the fire elements in the bottom of that power. Okay. And then we're gonna pick up our heart container. Now we got seven hearts. Which is amazing, and this is only episode 6, so imagine, like, in episode 15, how many hearts we'll have. <laughs> oh, that was hot. It was so hot, I thought my fibers would catch fire. Uh, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back to speak to Malari. Okay, so in the next episode, I will go speak to Malari, and we will continue on from there. So thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.